Michael, we're only a few weeks from pre-season. You'd be excited to get, get things going again. Yeah, not far off now. I think we start week Thursday as a few um, few days of uh, testing, which will be hard work, and then uh, full training starts on the Monday, and then we're off to Austria. So you know it'll go really quick. Um, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be an exciting year, um, and uh, yeah, so some hard work to do before the fun starts with all the games. The excitement started. Blue secured David Stockdale. Signing from Brighton, bit of a coup for the club. Yeah, you know, I've heard he's had a lot of offers from different places, and obviously did really, really well last year. He was outstanding. I played with him at Leicester. He's an outstanding goalkeeper, and if we can get competition for places and like that in all the positions, you know, we won't be far away this year. Is that a real statement for the club to go out early and get someone in like that? Yeah, I think you can see, you know, with keeping Harry and and signing somebody of that stature and already having such a good goalkeeper as well shows that, that you know we're going to put a really good squad together that's going to last the 46 games plus plus everything else that comes with it and um, you know it's going to be an exciting year. And the way we ended as well, the players really looking forward to getting things going because obviously it was a tough, it was a tough middle but a positive ending. Yeah, I think sometimes when we had adversity like that it brings the group closer together. So if we can add a bit more to it in terms of quality, then you know that togetherness should have improved even more and, and we can really push on as a big as a big group. What we saw from the fans at the end of the season as well, there's a real emphasis on getting them involved and they really backed you all the way. How important are they going to be this ball for me? Yeah, I don't think anybody's doubted. The fans have been brilliant, you know, even Zola, you know, when results went right, every every report he would say, you know, fans have been brilliant and, you know, that is the case and certainly it, it highlighted it the last two games, the Huddersfield at home and Bristol away, you know, it was an unbelievable atmosphere and it was great to, to get in with the fans at, at Bristol. On a personal level, do you feel good? Yeah, I've worked hard over the summer. I've had a few weeks off, but I've been in quite a bit and, you know, making sure I'm strong and ready to go for the for the first day of training. What sort of things have you been doing? A lot of strength work. You know, we miss a lot of my rehab, fitness-wise as well. So I've been in the gym quite a bit and then uh, been out running. So quite a lot, really. You know, we, we sort of skipped a bit of uh, rehab to, to play the game. So I had a lot of catching up to do. Are any of the lads still around or are the lads trying to do the same sort of thing as well? Uh, Lukas Djukovic has been about, he's, uh, he's had a little boy last week, so congratulations to him. So there's been a few about, but I think a lot of people have enjoyed a bit of downtime after a stressful season. But is that the best thing to do ahead of possibly a big season for the club? Yeah, I think you have to go away when you know when results haven't gone well and it's been a, been a long half a season, certainly. I think it's, um, it's good to, to get away from it, refresh and be ready to go again and hopefully we'll be at the other end of the, of the table.